Hi, I'm Chris Broderick from Fernox, and this brief video is to show you how to use our universal test kit, reference 62457. The kit itself comes in four parts to enable you to check how clean the heating system water is, the pH levels, the protector levels, and the hardness. So the first part is to check how clean the system water is. It's important to do so because if the system contains dirt or debris, can lead to issues such as pinholing, uh, cold spots on radiators, system inefficiency, um, perhaps most importantly can lead to boiler breakdowns. The test is very simple, drain some of the heating system water into this turbidity tube up to the 700 parts per million line and look down the tube. If you can see the black and yellow pattern on the bottom clearly, this is an indication the system is quite clean. Uh, if however that pattern appears fuzzy, or the water is too dark to see it at all, um, then it would suggest the system has debris or it's dirty. Um, at that point we recommend adding Fernox F3 cleaner, either from a 500ml bottle, uh, which will dose 16 radiators or about 130 litres of system water, or from an express can. Uh, let that chemical circulate and then flush it all out before adding inhibitor. Uh, at that point, if there isn't a system filter fitted, uh, we'd recommend uh, doing so. As shown in this demo jar, a system filter will capture the dirt in the system and hold it in suspension in the filter, rather than it circulating throughout the system, causing those issues I've just mentioned. The next part of the test is to check on the pH levels. This is important. Uh, boiler manufacturers uh, in the UK in particular will ask for pH levels of between 6.5 and 8.5. Lower than 6.5 the water is acidic and higher than 8.5 and the water is alkaline. Aluminium in particular uh, does not like high alkaline solution above 8.5. Uh, it can lead to pinholes in such as heat exchanges which a lot of boiler manufacturers heat exchanges are made from, from aluminium so you want to avoid that. Um, test itself, simply dip the test strip in the water and marry it up against the coordinating colour on the box provided, that will tell you the pH. If there is any, an issue with the pH level, then adding Fernox F1 protector with its excellent pH buffering um, properties will help with the pH levels. Okay, it takes me nicely on to protector levels. Now this is a, a simple uh, test using a reagent uh, drops and firstly mains water. Add 10 ml to the bottle and add the reagent drops one at a time until the water changes colour. Count the number of drops. It'll change from clear to blue often after just one drop. Repeat that process um, until the water goes from clear to blue and then orange. What we look for is a difference of 13 drops um, for the colour change, um, 13 drops difference between the mains water and the system water. Anything less than 13 drops difference and the inhibitor levels are low and we need topping up with Phenox F1. Uh, F1 uh, can't really be overdosed in the system so it's better to have too much in it than it is too little. Too little can cause corrosion problems going forward. So the next part of the test is hardness. Again very simple test strip Put the strip in the water and hold it in place for about three seconds and then again marry it up with the colour on the bottle. Um, if it's above 200 parts per million um, this would suggest the uh, some action is necessary uh, to comply with part L of the building regulations. But we recommend um, two things really. The fitting of a scale reducer, uh, the magnetic or preferably an electrolytic scale reducer which offers whole house protection. Uh, but in addition to that, again, going back to F1, it has excellent um, properties for uh, helping prevent lime scale issues within a system. So again, add a bottle of F1 uh, and that should help too. I uh, hope you found that video helpful. Thank you for watching.